Hi, I'm Lisa Lim Binti Chapan, allow me to introduce my crew. We are from group 4, consists of 4 members, which are me, myself, Kim Jelin, Viola, and Savita. Today we are going to talk about negotiation process. Allow me to present my part, which is, what is negotiation process? What is negotiation process? Negotiation process is a process by which two or more people resolve an issue or arrive at a better outcome through compromise. Negotiation is a way to avoid arguing and come to an agreement with which both parties feel satisfied. Let me take my job as an example. I'm a sales consultant of the department. I pass negotiation process every day. Let's say that there some customer come want to buy a good quality of mattress and I'm as a sales consultant trying my best to meet the deal with my customer. It's very common customer want to buy a good quality product but with fair price. I might not agree or I might agree the offer that my customer offered to me. So when uh, once I'm agree, it's very important to me to say exactly what we agree for. Like I have to make it clear. So if, when it's everything clear, we can meet the agreement and we can close the deal. My, uh, my customer happy can buy a good quality of mattress with a good price and I'm happy with having sales that day. That's what we call win-win situation. So in conclusion, negotiation is about talking, a conversation, sharing, finding fair deals and making things clear. That's all from me. I will pass the next presentation to my colleague, Kim Jelly. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. And hi, everyone. I'm Kim and I'm going to continue the presentations by talking about the six step of negotiation process. So the first step is preparations. We need to identify our goals and objectives clearly, do research about the other party and gather relevant information and also develop a strategy and prepare a potential option. Step number two is planning. Schedule a suitable time and place for the negotiations. Prepare an agenda to guide the discussions and also anticipate potential challenges and prepare responses for the other party. Step number three is building report. We need to establish a positive relationship with the other party and create comfortable and respectful atmosphere. Also, we need to actively listen to their perspective and acknowledge their concern. And step number four is exchanging information. Share our interests and needs openly and honestly. Also, seek uh, clarifications and ask questions to understand their priorities. Not forget to exchange relevant information to build trust and transparency. And step number five is bargaining and compromise. We need to make a proposals and counter proposals that align with our goals and be willing to compromise and consider trades off. And of course, we need to negotiate with flexibility and adaptability. Last step, which is number six, is closing the deal. We have to summarize the agreed upon terms and confirm understanding and we need to document the agreement in writing for clarity and reference. After all of that, we can express gratitude for the negotiation process and the outcome. But for your information, the negotiation process may not always follow the linear part. It may involve revisiting previous steps or repeating cycles of bargaining and compromise until a suitable agreement is reached. 
So, to wrap this topic, I would like to say that negotiations is not about winning or losing. It's about finding a solutions that work for everyone involved. Effective negotiations require empathy, understanding and willingness to consider different viewpoints. So, that's all for me and I will pass to the next presenter which is Savita. And thank you. Hi guys, my name is Saita Murban. My matrix number is MC2305218406. Today I am going to present about conflict and tips for reaching a successful agreement. Conflict is a natural part of human interaction and is possible in a range of settings, including personal relationships, businesses and communities. Excellent interaction, kindness and the ability to collaborate are all necessary to overcome difficulties and reach a good agreement. Here are some ideas for overcoming challenges and successfully controlling them. First is active listening. Pay close attention to the other party's point of view without interrupting. Make direct eye contact and note to demonstrate that you are fully engaged. Make eye contact that note to show that you understand. Second is recognize the key issues. Rather than focusing on survey level, undercover and underly underlying cause of the issues. Consider each party interest, needs and concern to gain a complete understanding. 3. Maintain calm and peace. Remain calm in the face of overwhelming emotion. Avoid impulsive or violent reaction as they might increase tension. Fourth is impress your own needs and concern clearly communicate your particular desire, feelings and worry. Use I sentence to express oneself. Say I feel rather than you always. Fifth is look for a common platform. Identify area where both sides may agree or find common ground. Stress common goals and interest to build the framework for compromise. Lastly, discuss potential solution as a group. Increase open discourage in order generated in variety of variable solution. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Bula Itania and today I'm going to share the conclusions for the negotiations process. The conclusion marks not the end but the beginning of actions, implementations and collaborations. It embodies the essence of finding common ground, honoring diverse perspectives and setting the stage for mutual growth. So as we step away from this negotiations table, let's carry forward the spirit of cooperations, the lesson learned and the shared goals, ensuring that this conclusion is just the starting point for a journey of shared success. Thank you so much everyone, have a very nice day.